Hello everyone, it's time for part 25 of Let's Play Discworld. Lady Ramkin's Dragon Sanctuary. That's Brimstone delivers at the rear. Didn't talk over myself or talk over it. You know what I mean. Um, Intertwined dragons. You know, I'm beginning to pick up a bit of a theme about this place. Oh, really? All right, let's go in. Uh, oh, I guess we need to keep clicking to keep walking. Do we go over here? Oh, statue. What's this all about? Well, I suppose when you're this rich, garden gnomes are just too passe. Can I do anything with it? No. It doesn't even give us the uh, courtesy of telling us that doesn't work. Oh well. Ooh, here's the place, I guess. Dragon shaped. Well, I'll be. Yes. Well, it's all right if you go for that pre patrician opulence. The front door. Yeah, another chance to have something closed in my face. Uh... Oh, come on. There's a knocker. You use the knocker and he responds by knocking on door with his hand. Great. Oh, hello. I wonder why she has such awful stockings. I'm just feeding my little darlings now. Do come around the back. Uh, okay. Where's the back? Is it this way? No? Aha! A nice blue ribbon and rosette. Yes, I won that at last year's Swamp Dragon Breeders Show. Poor old Reginald Lampwick Ponchinbury the Third. He just up and exploded with excitement at the time. Pity, really. Indeed. Uh, Good grief, it's sizzling. That doesn't work. Oh, can't use that. Oh, a leash. I hope that leash isn't flammable. Hey, I got a leash. Brilliant. I hope that. Once again, the recording. Nothing like required. that fine ink, more port workmanship, is there? Um. Brilliant. I got a nail. A nice big rusty nail. Mm. Another one for my coffin. Oh dear. There's no need for that rinse wind. Um. Right. Let's talk to her ladyship. Hello again. You were at the hairdressers. Oh wait, that was her. Oh. I'm Lady Ramkin. Do mind the doo-doos. Eh? Well, if you don't, the doo does what it does. It does? What does it do? Well, it does the dirty. The doo-doos, I mean. It can be dodgy, ducking doo-doos. If there's any carbon on your feet, you could be history. And geography. Dragon droppings are rather unstable, even explosive. That's what the boots are for. Can't go tracking this sort of thing in the house. It eats through the rugs. And the foundations, actually. Oh, yes, yes. I'll be careful. Some sort of constable, are you? Eh? Well, your hat. It's very grand. Officer's issue, I suppose. Um, no, not exactly. I'm... I'm a wizard. Ah, sorry. I'm afraid I don't have much to do with men. Dragon fancier, are you? Um, right. We're supposed to talk to her. I don't know what we're meant to say, so I guess we'll just talk about everything. Run that bit about men past me again. Oh, well, I've just never... There's never... Well, dragons have taken up most of my time, really. I've never really got the hang of, well, you know, boys and everything. Let's not mention dragons. I've had a bad day. Uh, really? That's it? Okay. What on earth was that bang? Oh, no, there goes another one. Poor little mite. He was one of my best breeders, too. There he goes. Off. He's gone off. It's the flames, you see. It's all in the digestion. The more combustible the food they eat, the more powerful the flame. Really? Now and then, one of the little beggars overdoes it and sets himself off. Rather nasty, really. Uh. Dragon innards are so hard to shift from the ceiling. Do they all explode? Well, what they're trying to do is modify their digestion to create hotter flames. If they could only approach evolution more scientifically, they might do better. As it is, the species needs an awful lot of looking after. Is a self-detonating, toxic, defecating house pet really going to catch on? Well, there's the excitement of breeding. 
pedigree lines and all. Yeah, and you can watch them all blow up afterwards. Yes, it's hard. You get so fond of them. I give the members of one family line the same name and then just attach a number on the end. It makes it less heart-wrenching to lose one then. That was Mambo the 15th who just detonated now. Poor Mambo. Sadly, his son is a bit of a disappointment. Oh? Yes, he's a runt. Mambo the 16th will probably never survive to breed. He's too small to fly, and dragons mate on the wing, don't you know? Still, he's a romantic little soul, a real charmer to the ladies. We... Ladies? Well, lady dragons. We are still talk about these little swamp dragons, right? He's always doing little mating dances. Quite the little show-off, really. Hmm. Dragons? Where? All around you, young man. Swamp dragons. The only kind of dragon that normally exists, of course. They're quite lovable. Are you a member of the Dragon Protection Society? Protection Society? My dear woman, there's a dragon out there that is bent on burning this whole city to the ground. Yes, poor thing. It's usually the owner's fault, you know. Um, quite. Well, I'll catch you later, then. Mm-hmm. As long as she doesn't catch us first. Time for a bit of that classic game, knock a door run. Ready? Okay, here we go. Now, quick, this way. Go, 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 go. Hurry, Rintwind. Brilliant. Now, get that. Yes, this was a lot of effort to go through for a rosette, but it's clearly worth it. A nice blue ribbon and rosette. Makes one feel like championship material. Great, now let's get out of here before she catches us. <laughs> this, no, not the back door. Go. There you go. It was very, very important. We got that ribbon. Uh, if you're paying attention, that's, 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 that's obvious, really. You know? Oh, no, no hand pointing to the exit there. Just a sign that says exit instead. Of course. Um. Ooh, I see. Oh, this is silly. This is very silly. Do you remember the first puzzle we solved in the game? Well, it's time to unsolve it. All right, let's head up to the dining room here. Actually, I guess technically the second puzzle. Okay. So right near the beginning, we had to steal Windlepoon's uh, staff. Uh, we replaced it with a broom handle. Well, it's time to undo that through completely logical means. We've got a snake, but it's all kind of dangly and it's very small. So first thing, let's make it bigger. Uh, we'll uh, use it with, ah, the fertilizer. Finally, it's got a use. See? The old magic markings on the extremely long snake trick. See, because it's long, because it grew, because it was in fertilizer. That makes sense. It makes sense. It does. And now we're going to combine it with, where is the, where is it, where is it, where is it? Oh no, I've got it, it's here somewhere there. The starch. See? The old magic markings on the magically stiff and extremely long snake trick. Hmm. It's even got a knob on the end. That's its head. See, and this will make perfect sense. See? How could he not, you know, how could he tell the difference? Now this could be a handy extension handle. Indeed. All right. I think we should get out of here before anyone notices the fact that a snake is repeatedly licking Windlepoon's hand. Um, in fact, probably less to, uh, best to leave the entire city, if we're honest. <laughs> Keep going left. Do, do, do. Through this doorway. Okay, and then, you know, there really should be a quicker way to move uh, to and from. Like, like here, I want to leave the city. Why can't I just click out the city? Why do I have to load up this area, wait for him to do his animation of walking there, walk past everyone, and then I'm outside, you know? Such a waste of time. <coughs> oh, dear. Okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, you've already broke the spider's web. How could there be a new spider's web? Okay, we want to keep... Uh, the, the, oh, here we go. Oh! It's Nanny Og. 
Don't move suddenly. She can smell fear a mile away. I'm Don't not... look. Just keep calm and everything's going to be okay. Mm. I'm not sure that's true, Rincewind. Watch out, dearie. Eek. No, no, no. Look, let's right. just solve well, the puzzle. Don't be a stranger. Cheers. Okay, apparently we use the wool and this lets us go in the back door. What is... What? Is, what? I don't, I don't get it. He's following the trail of thread. She, she's knitting directly off the sheep. <laughs> okay, uh, quite. What a pretty little sheep. That doesn't... Okay, and we know what we... Uh, maybe if I talked to Nanny, she would have explained this. But yes, got to use the rosette on the sheep. See, now it's a prize winning sheep. Uh, brilliant. Now, let's uh, take a picture of the prize winning sheep. Best side, dearie. There we go, we've got a picture of a sheep. Can I combine that with the picture of the octopus? Yes, apparently I can. Uh, a nicely framed impstomatic picture, even if I say so myself. Aha! It even catches the coy little glint in her eyes. Oh, well, well, there you are. Figured all that out. Now I've got a mallet, because everyone needs a mallet. Uh, what else do we need to do? Go back inside. <laughs> ah, now what's with these potions that have just appeared? Nanny Ogg's Inheritance Accelerator. Why wait for the rest of their life? So, that doesn't... That will kill someone, then. Nanny Ogg's Special Corn Remover and Passion Potion. Must be for those with a foot fetish. Quite. That... Hmm. What do we have here? Nanny Ogg's Patent Lie Remover. Removes unsightly untruths. Leaving behind just the odd white lie. Interesting. Uh, talk to Nanny. Watch out, dearie. Eek! And see, now we can ask about the lie remover. Ah, about your patented lie remover potion. It's my special truth potion. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, could I borrow some? I'll only let you have some in return for a kiss. And this time, I'll be keeping my eyes open, so I will. Oh. No. Mm-hmm. Okay. Don't worry, I've got a plan, I guess. Yep, you've got to hit yourself with some custard. You've got to eat some custard. Oh, because it's the aromatic custard from her book. And see, it makes you want to kiss her. My, my. Ah, oh, about the truth potion? Here, take it. Oh, my, my. Um, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a nice little um, moral lesson there from this game. Uh, if someone wants you for sexual reasons... Nanny Ogg's patent lie remover. And you don't want to, you know, if they're, if they're asking you to, say, do something sexual with them for something you want, just drug yourself. Removes unsightly untruths, leaving behind just the odd white lie. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get well out of here. Let's just run and run and run. I think we've got time to solve one, maybe two more uh, puzzles. Now, if you have been paying attention, you probably uh, actually genuinely could know where I want to go next. The edge of the world. Why am I going to the edge of the world? Ah, well, if you're asking that question, you weren't paying attention. Hey, wait a minute. What? This is, this is new. Ah, now don't tell me. It's purple and has 100 eyes. Am I close? What? Um, this is a reference hey, to... Hey, who turned out the lights? Well, at least it's nice and warm and soft out here. How do I get out of this place? What? No, no, forget that last statement. How do I get to stay here? Right, I, I, this is completely, I have no idea what's going on. Hey, that's cheating. Uh, what? That's cheating. You can't do that. Put that rotten thing away. It's not cheating. It's just 
enriching the storyline. No, it's cheating. <laughs> yes, it's in the rules. It isn't. Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> you can be quiet too, Mr. Handbag Face. And if you try to swap dice on me one more time, I shall do to your black monks what the Prophet Dundas did to the tribe of the Extralites, with both thumbs. Excuse me, uh, but what is that? What? Uh, there, the little pointy-headed thing. Uh, you've got a little piece hidden down your cleavage. Oh, goodness me, I wonder how that got there. What? Rincewind is currently in a goddess's bosom. Oh, put, it, put it back. No wonder you wanted to stay there. Oh, come on, that was just gratuitous. Yes, I haven't had any fun with that one yet. Wait till it meets my monk this time. Oh, just get on with the game. Uh, yeah. So on with it. <laughs> As she says, get on with the game. Um, yeah, I think... I'm sure we saw a parrot round here before. Um, but that's what we need to use now. Whoa! Here we go. No. That doesn't... Use it on yourself. There we go. Oh, hang on. Oh, we're all fine here. Have this. We're not quite done here yet. We need to combine where are the matches. Quickly, before it flies off matches with fireworks. That doesn't... What? No, but it does work. That doesn't... Ah, oh, hold on. There we go. Okay. And we'll use that on the bird, because that's how we solve things. You throw explosives at them. Brilliant. That's exactly... Exactly what, uh... We needed to do. Right, we need to combine this with that. What gets me is we've got all these old items that we've been carrying for ages in our inventory. And instead of using any of those, the game is just letting us use this, you know, having us use the same few items over and over again throughout pretty much the whole game. You know? I mean, you know, I, I've got, I've got, you know, this cheat. I've got these dinosaurs and things here. I've got the other ink lot, the bloomers. I'm not using those, no, I just, just use the butterfly net again and again and again. That's how you do it. Right, uh, what's next? Uh, oh, what? Look at the hat. No, I didn't mean to do that. Go back. Okay. Wow, these handkerchiefs are. Yeah, okay. And use that on this. That's very well drawn and animated, that is. I might be slightly sarcastic. Yeah, so there we go, we now have... So, I finally pulled a rabbit out of a hat. Uh, no, handkerchiefs. Uh, a chain of handkerchiefs which leads off the planet. So, there you go. Next time on Let's Play Discworld, we leave the Discworld. Kind of. Okay, bye!